What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Go Command. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Score of the First. And we are here in the Lost Bastille today to be doing some, uh, well, another boss fight, really. We're going to be making our way to a certain, a certain someone known as the, uh, Fle No, we already beat the Flexile Sentry. I've actually forgotten what their name is. Uh, there's some guys. We're going to be fighting a boss. Or well, three bosses, really. Three bosses account as one boss. We're going to be fighting them. Um, yeah, so that'll be fun. That'll be fun. So we've come through here a few times, basically. What we want is... Oh, yeah. Take care of these joiks. Some people hate these dudes. This, in this section, because good reason. There's a good reason for it. Um, there's an absolute crap ton of them that'll like just pour out of here once you unlock this. And I think it, it is a little overwhelming. Normally by this point I'd have my, uh, my greatsword ready to go. And I'd just use that greatsword in order to uh, mow him down. After we take care of this guy, of course. I really hope I can find another Fragrant Branch of Yore. I don't know where the nearest one is, but there's a, a certain NPC that we'll be reaching today, but they're also a statue. And I, uh, I might have to go buy another Fragrant Branch of Yore from the, uh, lady back in... Oh, here we go. Basically, the issue with this, for most people, is these guys just fucking pour out of here. There's a whole bunch of them. And it's very, very, very easy to get completely overwhelmed. Thankfully this hammer's staggering these fuckers, but even so... Oh, Jesus. Oh, that worked. Oh, he was still alive. <laughs> I didn't realize. Jesus. Yes, life gem, more common fruit. Um... Now yeah, it's gonna top up. There is tons of these fuckers in here. And I don't know that there's a shortcut to the boss that's through here or not. So unless you want to like kill these guys over and over again so they stop spawning. Actually, there is a bit of a sh bit of a shortcut, but it's not the best. I really wish the um really huh? I thought for some reason that I would have been quicker than them. But I guess my swings are not. I just wanna... Come on, come up here. There's one of them down. Of course, if I don't die on this boss, which hopefully I won't, that won't matter. Oh, I thought I could pick up an item, but it was just a door. Anyway, yeah, running through this uh, when you die on the boss, like having to do it multiple times, is pretty shitty. But uh, yeah, we can open up this. This will open up some paths. But yeah, how y'all doing today? I hope you're all doing quite well. I'm, uh, still having a great time playing this. That's... the f That's a fact, Jack! Um, I think the boss is actually just through there. But we've got some exploration we can do before we fight him. This is a boss that a lot of people, uh, struggle with when they come into grips with the whole, uh, multiple enemy thing in this game. I know you've probably noticed that I've I alternate between using the lock on and not using the lock on. It just kind of varies from fight to fight. You do it, uh, you kind of get a feel for it. But the issue most people run in with, into with the uh, Dark Souls Two, I think, or what they ran into when it was originally released. A lot of people kind of like aren't. I don't know. They pass on it now. They kind of don't like to. Whoa. I kind of don't like to really acknowledge its existence. It's definitely the the black sheep of the uh, of the series, but uh, a lot of people just. Oh, this is a dead end, by the way. This is a fucking nasty trap. It's a door to no. Well, it's technically kind of a shortcut, but it's kind of a really shitty shortcut, and I don't know why anyone would ever take it. You basically can drop down on top of that from from elsewhere, and it's a really dumb hard jump to make and I don't know it's a bit shit and I don't suggest using it but anyway yeah a lot of people oh there is an item up here I missed I knew it I knew I saw I knew someone dropped something Royal Swordsman gloves 
I will say I really like the look of the uh, Royal Swordsman gear. It's not gear that I personally am wearing right now, although I was looking at the helmet because I really like the look of the helmet. There's a summon there. Who's this? Felicia the Brave. Hmm. And then over here there was also a summon that I saw. Yeah, so who is this one? Pilgrim Belclair. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, once you learn how to play the game without you relying on the lock-on and switching it on and off as you need to, uh, the game becomes much more manageable. He's got to jump back up here. Come on, up you come. You see there's another two of those Ruined Sentinels, that's their name, I forgot what their name was. These two will uh, become active once this one is down. Oh, jeez. I gotta stop using that heavy swing because it's eating too much of my stamina. Because, I mean, this guy also uses a lot of stamina. It's a cool thing about this hammer, in case you're wondering why I love it so much. I, th I think all the hammers do this, but this hammer does it especially well. Is that it, uh, it still does a hefty amount of damage when an enemy's using a shield. I don't know how it affects shields with 100% block. But, um, like these guys, you can see how much damage I'm doing to these dudes, even when they're blocking. Hey! Oh, I knew he was gonna do that. I shouldn't have. Shit. Straight through my face. Alright, <laughs> this time, um, once I've killed this first one, I'm going to just jump down to the bottom where there's a lot more room to maneuver in. It's a lot harder for him to get those sneaky shots. Uh, Oh, really? I haven't even got to do anything yet. It's a lot harder for him to sneak up behind me when I can actually see around, you know? I guess, like, really for this first guy, I could probably two-hand this to do it. Simply because of the, uh... Ow. I always have a hard time judging when that guy's gonna jump up, and that was terrible. This is t going terrible. <sighs> Straight to business this morning. Gotta get used to... Uh, anyway. It wasn't so hard. Heal up. Roll down. You're always gonna take full damage there. It's kind of hard to avoid. Anyway, now that I'm down here... I can keep a better eye on these fellas. I actually really like this boss fight. A lot of people hate it, as I said. They feel like it's unfair fighting three of these guys, but their health bars aren't that crazy big. If you stay underneath them, you can um, avoid their attacks. I think the thing that makes them difficult is just put them at once so you can really... Once one's down... Okay, so that, okay, so that was a proper block, so it doesn't do... Ow. Ooh, shit. Oh, I thought one of them was going to do a horrible jump. Once I get one of them down, the other one's, like, the last one's easy. Okay, one left. There's actually a cool move that one of them has, too, where they all... Sometimes they'll actually throw their shield at you, and it's pretty rad. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that this guy would do it, but he's, he's holding on to it. If they throw their shield at you, it'll actually like get like embedded in the floor or the wall, which is pretty rad. Oop. No, you don't. But yeah, if you just stick close to them, really, like one-on-one, -on -one, they're absolutely nothing to worry about at all. It's only when you've got two of them and you're not really paying much attention to what's going on around you that they're an issue. But we did it! They're taken care of. We got ourselves the Ruined Sentinel Soul. And that's good, because we're going to have to buy some things with, uh, with the, the souls we just earned. So, Ruined Sentinel Soul. Soul of the Ruined Sentinel, a creation of the Jailer. The Ruined Sentinel has no corporeal form. It is only an empty soul that haunts the armor. So that's kind of interesting. Not a ton of lore for that particular thing, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. Something else that's interesting about this room is there is a ton of uh, secret doors in here. I swear, I swear I'm telling the truth. There's a whole bunch. I promise. Maybe they're all on this wall. There's like 
five or six or something like that crazy number. Uh, roasted coin. Nothing else there. There's another one. Oh man. Um, I don't know if I don't think I've gone into this. Um, the reason they've gone to the tap. This one has nothing in it, of course. I it probably does in New Game Plus, I imagine. Um, the reason they went to the tapping the A button on this, which is something that a lot of people don't like, and I'm not a big fan of it myself. But it was a hack, allegedly, to the uh, old Kingsfield game that Kingsfield games that FromSoft were making before they started doing Dark Souls. So it's definitely one of the changes in this game that I I'd rather just hit things with my hammer, <laughs> to be honest. Which, mind you, you saw how much damage that ha this hammer was doing. And I'd like to remind you that this is only plus one at the moment, so that's a little, uh, you know, a little to let you know how how decent this weapon is. I think it's a very underappreciated weapon. I think there's another one in here somewhere. I know there's more around. Anyway, what's in here? Picked up a target shield, some other shit. Hush, alright, that's a, um... Wait, I wanna see if there's anything up here, man. Don't know if there... Yes, there is! Uh, Hush is a miracle that allows you to, I believe, stop other people casting miracles, I think. Some homeward bones, always nice. Okay, now, which one of these was the way out? I think it was this one. Hidden things everywhere. You can hear there's also some guy around here. This is the only area you can think of where you have to fight enemies after you've beaten the boss. And it's... Well, you don't have to. I mean, it's in this optional room here. It's one of these exploding bastards. Which, you know, if, if you're low on health and shit and get caught off guard by that guy after the boss fight, you're in trouble! And in here we find... Rouge water. I'll have a read of that in a second. Just want to get up to the next bonfire. I don't think there's any other... walls that I'm missing. I don't think. I hope. Getting a little tired of smashing that A button. No, that's all of them. Good. Oh yeah, there's another one of these dicks. You can see them up. There's a red glow to him, because this one explodes. If you don't have full health after the fight, that guy can just fucking kill you, and then that's the end. It's over. Which is a bit shitty. Alright. Dun 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 And... That looks like... Yeah, there's no more here. So we've got some options here too before I hit this bonfire. If you come down here, I think there's a dog. Which I'm not overly worried about. Oh, there's a pursuer. No, I'm not ready for you right now, mate. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> nah. Alright, let's rest this bonfire, then we'll fight the pursuer. The original release, there was a, uh, there was a dog down there and they replaced it with the pursuer, that's right. Fucking pursuer down there of all places. Why not, I guess? Is he gonna come back again, or is that... Yeah, he will. Alright. How much damage are we doing to him? 221, that's not, not horrible. Alright. As I said, this jerk shows up... ...quite frequently at this point. You see less and less of him as the game progresses, which is kind of interesting. But... Oh man, I'm like really... My stamina... Maybe I should put that Kilorentropy ring back on. Holy shit! Can you really just do that much damage to me? What an asshole! Yeah, I feel like my stamina regen should be better than where it is. It's causing me problems. Alright, heal, Dan. Come on, be quick. Look at he split. Fuck. Alright. 
I should be rolling into those attacks, not away from them, you know that. We oh, piss buckets. Alright, well, we'll get him this time. We'll get him this time, I'm gonna put my Chloranthropy ring on. I replaced the stone ring because I feel like, uh, now that I have this hammer, it should be doing a decent amount of poise damage, and... I think it does enough poise damage to, uh... Warrant, um, swapping it out. With this ring, which should speed up my stamina regeneration, which should, if I don't fuck this, keep fucking this fight up, make life a little easier. Fuck! Damn it! I should have rolled forward. I thought it was going to be another two combo instead of a three. Okay. Oh shit! I really need to get my souls back, son. All right, here we go. Down. All right, that was a one. Good. Don't want to get hit with that, because that's bad news. Yeah, stop rolling away from him, Dan. See, now I'm in the mindset from the fucking ruined sentinel. What? I th I'm pretty sure I dodged that. Apparently not. Jesus Christ. He only needed one hit. One will hit that first attempt as well. God damn it. I have used a humanity to try to get my human form back, so I have more health. Oh, a heavy! Oh! Yes! Three! Oh, that... I didn't even have to... I hit the fucking wall. Perfect. Oh, I must have actually hit him through the wall. Oh, well, that's nice. I'll take it. No, I, I mistimed that. And then I got stun locked. This is a really tough environment to fight this son of a bitch in. I'll give him that. He picked a hell of a good spot for Sewer to fucking wreck my shit. But. It will not last. I will. Fuck you, man! <clears throat> I will not rest until this bastard is dead. For there are items down here, and I want to wrap up this episode. And I want to get said items before wrapping up said episode. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So is that. It's gonna get better at dodging. Yeah, see this this time, it's going great guns. Yeah, look at that. This is going much better. Aw, uh, shield! Uh, Alright. Shield up. Roll. Oh, damn! Oh shit, it's a race now. I'm glad he took the long way around. Oh, he needs one more hit! This'll be it! Thank you! Give me your souls! That's what I'm talking about, because we've got some things we need to buy. Oh, and Twinkling Titanite, must be time to upgrade my hammer again, and the large club. And, uh, what else is down here? And that's the reason I want to fight him, because I want that Twinkling Titanite so I can keep upgrading my hammer here. Priest Chime. Um, we will be using that later on. That will give us access to another optional boss, the uh, Belfry Gargoyles. From Dark Souls 1, make their less than stellar return here. It's a bit of a shitty boss fight, but we don't have to worry about that for a while. But we got all these souls. Let's go take care of some shit in Majula, shall we? Alright, first order of business. Let's get this hammer upgraded again. Um, reinforced weapon. Please reinforce my craftsman's hammer. Going up to 199. I dig it. Um, what else can I do? Oh, I was going to go buy the owl pants. So let's go buy said Alva Pants. Then we can just spend the rest on souls. Now, once I've got my uh, strength up high enough to get my... meet the greatsword requirements, I'm going to start focusing on my vitality and equip. You need armor. Yes, I do need armor. I have yet to buy, I believe, the Alva Leggings. No, oh, just one pair, thanks. Fuck, the Alva set's expensive. Oh well. Thanks for the yeah, you're right, mate. Whatever. I'm going to also bring back my... 
face. And I'm going to buy a fragrant branch of yore from this old bird. Yes, me again. I would like to purchase one of your delicious fragrant branches. So I can get access to an NPC. And now, with what's left, I'm going to try to upgrade my character a little bit. Yes, that's right. Time to put up my... I, what strength needs to be 28. Or is it 26? That... And Vigor, let's start bumping up my health, my endurance. That's my stamina, isn't it? Yeah. Yes! That sounds good to me! Wonderful. Now that I've done that, I can quickly, let's have a look at these, because I'm currently wearing the Drang Lake leggings, which are nice, but very heavy. I just picked up the Alva leggings, which... Oh, really? They're only half as much? Half as much defense. Really? Oh. Mm. The reason I want lighter armor that's still half decent is so that I can use my uh, great sword, which I think I now have the stats for, actually. If I check. No, I need 28. So I still need to go up two more levels. But, uh, oh well. That's fine. We've got more exploring to do back at the Lost Best Deal. What slot we just unlocked? Yeah, seven quarters. Now, what I bought that fragrant branch of your for, you will find out next episode, because we are done for today. So thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week. I look forward to catching you next time. Peace out, and as always, have a good one.